Good Merry Christmas morning to all of you firewood people. Today is going to be snow removal for a very long time. We got about six inches last night. As you can see, the wood yard is getting buried little by little. Over there is where I did the uh, splitting yesterday. I'll walk over there. So first, before I do anything in the wood yard, this is my business parking lot here. And I've got 28 stalls that uh, there's stalls all along here, stalls all along there, and then all along the front of the building, which is a long part over there. So just doing this is gonna take me two hours, just because I know, because we got six inches of snow and it's kind of the heavier wet version. So it's gonna be like throwing wet cement. So that'll be fun. So that's gotta be done first. And then I come through here and then you can see where the edge is all along here. I snowball all this that way and I blow all this that way. And I had to open this up because I have to be able to get wood in there and wood back in that corner and more wood over here and probably another load of wood over here. Cause I plan on, on getting another at least four maybe as much as six loads this uh, winter yet before spring's here. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. So now my uh, pile of wood is getting more and more buried, which is nice, this is the stuff I did yesterday. And I got a tarp on part of it there, but it's just gonna be a pain in the butt. And then all the stuff back there. So yeah, winter wonderland. I've had enough snow, I can quit now. I guess we're ahead of our average. Normally we get like 30 some inches. I guess we're close to 40 now, they said, for the year. Um, we did have a warm spell in there where we got like two inches of rain, so that was nice. That was an all snow. Um, but it's supposed to uh, clear off and get down into single digits the next three days. And then in uh, about four days, from then on, it's supposed to be in the mid 30s and 40s, so that's kind of nice. A lot of this will melt, but yeah, it's about, I don't know, a little after seven. Sun's coming up. It's not a John Denver day. Too frickin' much snow. Anyway, I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna go start up the snow blower and start moving snow. So that's it for today.
that's it the blowing of the snow is done I started about seven ish well maybe a little after seven and right now it's about a quarter to eleven so three and a half hours or something like that which for this much snow is about normal to do my parking lot which is right here you can see the parking lot's done up front and and that took about an hour and 45 minutes to do the uh the bit my business parking lot and then to do the back part and the wood lot back here that took uh, like an hour and a half i don't know something like that anyway it's all done i'll kind of give you a little walk through back here the uh snow depth is picking up that's for sure you can see it's getting pretty pretty high now and the reason I've been snow blowing this, I want to put another load of wood right here um, coming up. But yeah, I've just been blowing the snow into these piles that are already done. Because what I want to do is put a load of wood here and a load of wood there and then cut it and then stack it in this area once it, once the snow melts off. So but yeah, I kind of got this open so also I can put a whole load of wood right through here. Maybe even, I probably get two loads. Last year I put a load there and a load there and that ended up stacking that area so i'll get two loads for sure on that area um but yeah i've just been trying to keep it open so i can drive back here because i still have uh, a little bit of wood left to sell yet this year and then when i'm out i don't have to worry about it but i still like to be able to kind of make the loop around here for turning the trailer around it's kind of nice and for uh loading wood and for when i get the truck loads of wood i can get them as far into the wood yard as possible and not have to take up a ton of space but yeah there's starting to be quite a bit of quite a bit of snow it can be done now I've had enough all I got left for wood to sell is this little pile right here and the little pile right there and that's it and I'm 100% out of wood and that's just all pie and that's all that's left so yeah I got this open here so I can back in here with my trailer when I go cut wood on my land or my dad's land or my brother-in-law's land or my buddy's land i can dump wood right in this area and then stack it back in here because the truck the big semis can't get back in here I mean, well they could but i'd have to probably take a row or two of my trees out here now i'm gonna get i got wood all underneath all this snow there's uh i think there's about 20 face cords right there that's all buried now and then here's the pile i worked on yesterday over here this is the other side of it so yeah, that's enough snow, you can quit now. Uh, it's supposed to be single digits or below zero for the next three days. And then it's supposed to warm up uh, this weekend, which will be nice. This weekend we're supposed to have upper 30s to 40 degrees. But So now I'm gonna get dried off, clean up some stuff, and uh, change clothes, because I'm kind of soaking wet now from all the blowing here. Pants are wet, faces wet, hats wet, and I'm gonna dig that crap out and start playing in the snow some more. So that's what's up next. So see you in a little bit when we get to doing some splitting. I'm back. I got changed out of my wet clothes. It was wet on the inside, wet on the outside, so it's kind of miserable from the snow blowing. And uh, I looked at the clock and it was only 10 30. I thought it was 11. So my snow blowing took a little less than uh, all like two hours and 45 minutes, two hours and a half, something like that. That's all it took. And that's doing my whole parking lot and the whole wood yard. Now, I get questions um, by people, you know, why do you snow blow? Why don't you just plow the wood? Well, I used to have a guy plow back when I built my building where my business is. Uh, back in 2002 and he, he plowed for I think three years, so about 2005 was the first year that I didn't have him plow. And the reason is, is that he quit the plowing business and referred me to two other guys and they both quoted me more than what he was charging. He was charging me about a hundred bucks if I remember right, it was right around a hundred bucks and for each plowing to do my parking lot. 
And then the next guy that came, he quoted me 120 and another guy quoted me 140. And so they each did it once and they did an okay job, nothing spectacular. And I do know that I paid about 20, over the years I paid at least 20 times to as many as 26 times to have it plowed. Because we get that much snow and I got to keep it clean. So I started looking around for some options. I looked at plows, I looked at, uh, you know, snow blowers. I looked at a little bit of everything, what it was going to cost me. So what I did is I thought, well, I want to get a snow blower anyway. So I went and I got a pretty big snow blower. And that cost, uh, that was 2005, I want to say. I think it cost me 13, maybe 1400 bucks for the snow blower, something like that. And uh, I um, snow blowed that winter. Um, it was 23 times I snow blowed. And if I would have been paying guy a guy just a hundred dollars, that would have been twenty three hundred dollars. So the snowblower was more than paid more, about more than way more than paid for almost double what I paid for it, made up for it in the snow blowing. And I did that for um, was well, fifteen years now, fifteen years, and just say there's an average of twenty snow blowings a year or snow removals. And if that were to be um, $100 per um, snow removal, whether it's plowing or snow blowing, um, that would have been, I gotta think here now, <laughs> I'll have been $2,000, been $2,000. And I did that for 15 years. So that's $30,000, $30,000. That I would have paid to have it plowed, or I would have had to have bought the equipment and do it myself. Well, I snow blow it, and normally, if I do just my parking lot for my business, uh, my uh, parking lot is 28 stalls, and I can usually do it in about an hour, hour and 10 minutes, hour and 15 minutes is normal. Uh, if we get you know less than four inches of snow, if we get six or eight, it takes an hour and a half. If we get 10 to 12, it can take almost two hours. Uh, I think two or three times we had like 18 or 16 inches, and that that took a good three three and a half hours because I gotta I gotta double blow it because I can't throw it far enough. Um, and so anyway, so on average, if it's an hour and a half, and I'm gonna pay somewhere between 120. $140 and that was quoted back you know 15 years ago now it might be as much as 150 160 bucks I don't know I haven't had it quoted so per hour I'm I'm making or saving 50 60 bucks an hour that's pretty good money 50 60 bucks an hour so that's why I snow blow it and the other reason is is that when you snow blow it's actually cleaner I can actually get down to the pavement better and I can throw it farther, and by having it churned in the, the snow blowing auger, the snow as it goes out, it breaks the snow crystals down, so it actually compresses it down. So I don't get these big monstrous piles of snow that you gotta worry about and trying to see around. And around here, we get quite a bit of snow. So that's the other reason. I have two friends that also own businesses. Um, one of my buddies is that way about six blocks. And he also snow blows his parking lot. He's a little bit smaller than mine. And he did the same thing. He was having it plowed and decided to get a decent snow blower because he saw me doing it and thought, well, if nothing else, he'll have it for his sidewalks and stuff. Well, that's what he's been doing now for, I think he's been doing this about 12 years now. And he figured out also that he saved quite a bit of money, thousands, tens of thousands of dollars. And my other buddy owns a small restaurant. And uh, I think he does right he said 40 parking stall 40 parking spots he's got plus you know the drive in between in the middle he does all that too and he does it every every time it snows he snow blows that and he figures for what he was paying he's saved over the last 20 years he was paying almost $200 to have it done each time so he figures he saved about $40,000 by snow blowing it himself and he said he can do his whole lot in about two hours. He's got even a bigger snow blower than me. So anyway, that's that's those are the reasons why I do the snow blowing. So I just was thinking about that because I, I do have people ask me that from time to time. So I just thought I'd mention that. So anyway, I'm dry now. Got to go run some errands. I'm going to come back in probably an hour, hour and a half. And they're going to do some uh, wood splitting. So 
that's it for now i'm gonna head out and we'll be back in just a little bit and we'll do some uh some wood splitting finally today see you in a bit